The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. Five days after taking delivery of his Model Y, Joseph was dropping off his buddy at his parents' house. A car was stopped in front of him and he was about to go around it, but he stopped when he realized it was turning. That's when a Honda rear-ended him. Hashtag Honda bump. Joseph pulled over and called the police and waited in his car. He asked the officer if the other driver was okay, and he responded by saying the other driver was upset. Joseph isn't sure if the other driver was upset with him or with himself, because Joseph's friend heard him telling the officer that Joseph had stopped in the middle of the road. After viewing the footage from the Tesla cam, the officer said he'd seen everything he needed to see. The other car was a total loss. Although the damage didn't look extensive, it took almost two months to fix Joseph's Tesla. The Honda driver's insurance paid for all the repairs and for a rental car. Joseph says he thinks the other driver may have been on his phone. Ed was driving his two-week-old Model Y in San... Yeah. New Jersey had owned his Model Y for five days when this incident occurred as he was driving on Route 1 approaching a red light. The Chevy pickup truck next to him stopped properly for the light, but the Honda CRV behind him barely slowed down before rear-ending the pickup. The impact pushed the Chevy into the concrete median barrier and then into another Honda CRV right in front of it. Ladies and gentlemen, our very first double hashtag Honda bump. It wasn't until Stan reviewed the footage after he got home that he noticed how close the debris from the crash came to hitting his car. He sent the video to the local police department. They thanked him for the video, but he didn't get a follow-up. We hope everyone involved is okay. Vaclav was driving his Model 3 on the D1 motorway near Prague in the Czech Republic. Suddenly, a dog appeared right in front of him. The massive accident made news headlines. Samaritans. J. 
James was driving in Dallas, Texas just a few weeks after picking up his brand new Tesla Model 3. He'd been driving eastbound in the middle lane when this F-350 decided to make a left turn right in front of him. This resulted in James T-boning the pickup. The driver of the F-350 told James that she hadn't seen him. She was driving unlicensed and uninsured, two things that law enforcement wrote her tickets for once they showed up to the scene. The Tesla was totaled, but thankfully James had uninsured motorist coverage, so his own insurance covered the accident. Aaron was using autopilot in his Model 3 down a tollway in Colorado when he approached this semi-truck going about 60 miles per hour in the right lane. Suddenly, the semi merged into Aaron's lane. When it hit Aaron's Tesla, the glass from the passenger side exploded throughout the cabin and all over Aaron. The impact sent Aaron off the road where he swerved to avoid the cable barrier. After yelling into his phone for a while, the truck driver came over to ask Aaron if his airbags had deployed. Aaron learned later that this was a question from the truck driver's insurance company, who was trying to determine whose fault the accident was. In the meantime, Aaron was stuck in the Tesla with the doors jammed shut. After first responders pried the doors open, Aaron was taken away in an ambulance. Aaron says that a year after the accident, he's doing a lot better, but not without a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, the Tesla was a total loss. We can see here the right camera hanging loose from the car, and it reminds us of something out of a Terminator movie. Terminator. Jay was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Dublin, Ohio, when he came to a complete stop at a red light after exiting the highway. A woman coming over the hill didn't notice the light and smashed into Jay's Tesla at about 70 miles per hour. Jay says that Autopilot did alert him before the impact, but there was nothing he or Autopilot could do to prevent it. The vehicles rolled a short distance after the impact before coming to a complete stop again. Even though none of the Tesla's airbags went off, both Jay and his passenger were all right. Jay jumped out to help the woman out of her car when he noticed she was trapped in her vehicle's airbags. She was okay, and with his help, she managed to get out of her car. The Tesla was leaking an unknown fluid, and the vehicle went into emergency mode, which ended with it shutting down. Tesla called Jay's phone two minutes later, but at the time, he was busy talking to the woman and the police. Both cars were completely totaled and had to be hauled away on tow trucks. Even though they both were customers of the same insurance company, there was a battle of almost two months before the company paid out. Jay's insurance agent told him that having the video as evidence that he was completely stopped was very helpful for his claim. He had a stealth Model 3 performance, and unfortunately the insurance company didn't know how to value it correctly. The entire car ended up being replaced, but not until Jay fought for them to replace his full paint protection car wrap which took about two months to approve. Trent was driving his Model Y on the highway outside of Apex, North Carolina one sunny day when he witnessed something he never thought he'd see. This looks like it's straight out of a video game. Up ahead we see a pickup truck swerving off the road and it almost looks like he's aiming for that big jump at highway speed. The pickup gets some major hang time before putting its suspension to the test when it comes crashing down. Everything turned out okay, but Trent is pretty sure the pickup driver was on his phone when this happened. Taylor was driving his four-week-old Model Y on I-35 in Hickory Creek, Texas, when he passed this black Nissan Frontier pickup truck. Taylor changed lanes to allow lead-footed drivers to pass him in the fast lane. That was when the Nissan swerved into him. A 
Until he reviewed the video, Taylor says he couldn't even explain how the crash happened. Autopilot's traffic-aware cruise control was engaged, but it had no time to evade or alert Taylor to the Nissan in his blind spot. He says he's still in shock. He didn't see it coming. The Nissan driver lied to everyone and said he was just driving along when Taylor spun him out and put him into the wall. Taylor didn't talk to the Nissan driver personally. He was too upset and sat. After the police arrived, he gave them the Tesla cam footage. The officer showed the Nissan driver and he instantly knew he was busted. The other driver was found 100% at fault for his aggressive lane changes and unsafe speed. Taylor's Model Y is being fixed now and the repair estimate is about 4,000 US dollars. The submitter was overtaking slower moving cars that were out there.